Hello guys, welcome back to another brand new video and today we are back on the Minecraft Advent of Session Survival series. Now this episode is going to be a bit different, so yeah, enjoy. So you can already see at the back there are an uh, expo ready to show. So in the last episode we went to the Oh this notification. Okay, so in the last episode we actually went to the Candyland dimension and which is fantastic. We have a lot of stuff that we can do in the Candyland dimension. And today we are going to show you the Candyland dimension, the expo. So let's actually uh, get right started. Before I show the dimension, make sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a like that's truly awesome, click the bell notification so don't miss out any new videos. So yeah, let's get this started. So let's check it out. It's right over in this side right here because there's not too much space in those side right here. So let's take a look. We got the red candy, we got the green candy, dark chocolate, all the different types of chocolate. We got some dirt and inside here we got the crystal because we have only have one candy line room. Some, so we have to actually uh, use this for our, our replacement. Because there's too many things that I have to put in here so I only can put it in the chest. So today we are going to actually start off with some bags that are actually trade from one of the lotter man with some silver tokens and also uh, those gold to tokens. We have the gym bag which is filled with lots of shiny rocks and we have the shiny bag which is filled with something heavy. Alright so guys let's actually start opening those gym bags I guess. So the first one we have is the gym bag which is uh, filled with lots of shiny rocks so let's actually open it and let's see what we have. So the first one, okay, what we got? Oh my goodness, we got a lot of stuff. We got the boring tokens. Is this another dimension? I have no idea. We got the Mysterium tokens that we have been through before and a let a Leita tokens. Leita. Pretty awesome name, right? Okay, let's open the second bag. And then this time we got oh this time we got the Candyland token. Uh the tokens and we got heaven tokens, which is one of the other dimension, I guess. Let's open the rest of them in one go. Three, two, one. There we go. What do we? Oh my goodness, that's a lot of tokens. That's a lot of tokens. We got heaven tokens, gardenic tokens. I think those are from all the different dimensions. The cliff we have been before. The precession tokens. We got the nether tokens, crinomia. Oh, okay. So uh, there's one dimension which is called the crinomia dimension, which I am planning on going for today's dimension. But I think about it, well, I'm not going because I have another thing that I want to do in today's episode. And then we have the Luna tokens, Sharelands, and Baron's tokens. Wow, that's a lot of tokens, I guess. That's a lot. Oh, wait, what? what just, oh, okay. I think I just got the keys wrong, I guess. Let's actually just change it right now. Okay, now let's actually open this, the shiny box. There's something heavy inside. Hope that's some ores that we can actually get and some pretty rare ores. So let's actually uh, open that once. Okay, so three, two, one, go. Seriously? <laughs> that's all we have a safari. At least we got some EMC, right? Uh, amethyst, limonite ingots, and rusted iron ingots. Seriously, this makes me so disappointed. I was hoping for some like pretty rare ores. So, guys, after doing some sorting, now let's move on to today's topic. Today I actually want to build a beacon at our house because I know it's like kind of a vanilla theme and it doesn't really fit in the modded theme right here but I think we still have to do it and because we want a beacon we have this third floor right here which we can uh, put the beacon on it so I'm planning on uh, using emerald blocks for the beacon and then we're just going to get 9 emerald blocks and then maybe in the future we're going to do a full tower beacon uh, which is very big which is a 7x7, 5x5 and a 3x3 can't be hollow inside, have to be uh, solid and then we have a beacon which, oh wait what? is that the sun? <laughs> we, can, we can see the sun <laughs> oh my goodness this is not like very scientific but anyways we're going to actually start getting a beacon to get a beacon we need a nether star and it's going to be hard to get because I have never actually killed a wither in survival mode in my 5 years of playing Minecraft. And you see, last time in episode 35, I went to the end dimension and I killed my first ever end dragon in survival world. Which is pretty amazing and <laughs> yeah, it's a bit embarrassing. But today we're going to kill our first wither and let's actually uh, prepare how to craft a beacon. Now you can see that the beacon has a really high EMC with 139,000 EMC and then let's see so we need 5 glass, 3 obsidian and 1 nether star 
Okay, there we go. Now we got the ingredients. Now we can <laughs> we can actually uh, start getting the wither. To get wither, we do have to get wither skull. And let's look through my transpiration tablet and see if we have any. No, very good because we are going to the Nether and kill one of those uh, wither skulls. Haven't been to the Nether for a very long time now, so yeah. So yeah, uh, found one uh, with a skeleton, and then I can't find the rest of them. It's actually really hard to find. And also for some reason, my computer is extremely laggy today. It's like impossible to play. What I mean by that is basically if I, I if I move a chunk, because currently I have my render distance on two on, right? If I go on five, right, where my usually is, and then the game uh, in the Nether. It becomes so laggy that it's impossible to play. It's like basically you walk for like two blocks and then it lags to zero frames and then you walk another two blocks and then you lag again. So this time I guess the only way that we can actually uh, fight uh, the wither in today's episode is by uh, using uh, creative mode. Uh, what that means is that I'm just going to get a uh, free wither skull or one wither skull if possible. We're just going to get them, and then we're just going to start fighting in the overworld, just like that. Uh, I found an area which is the old mining area, and I just dug out the small holes. So, let's get started this intense wet, uh, no, we not weather. <laughs> this intense weather fight, let's actually get started. So, let's place down the soul sand first. I'm not sure, I'm just getting so laggy in the overworld right now. Yeah, I'm going to remove the mod uh, next episode, maybe. So let's just set it to tiny, let's do this, 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 and then we need the wither skeleton skull right here. Let's just get it right here first. The game is lagging a bit, but I don't care, we are doing this today. Okay, I'm not going to put the last one in, okay, because I want to actually uh, film it. I mean like, yeah, basically film it and then later screenshot it. So, three, two, one, go. There we go. Withering Heights, we got the advancement. This guy is 300. He's healing up. Let me just take a quick screenshot. There we go. Oh my goodness, I just... What? Instant kill. We just got instant kill by the Wither. And I have no idea. Okay, the Wither is here. The Wither is here. Let's actually get, get a kill. Oh my goodness, I just, it does so much damage. The sword. The sword actually does a lot of damage to the Wither. I might have to set a spawn point here in the future. Oh my goodness! That is a huge lag! That huge lag just literally just make me uh yeah basically we're near death. Okay, let's just go, let's just kill the wither. The wither is on 100 health. The wither is on 162 health. We might have to beat this in a third try or later. I think I'll yeah. Yeah we die, we die. Let's just actually grab a gapo, okay? Let's just actually grab a gapo. Okay, there we go. Where's the wither? It's right here. 148, 149, 112. It's happened. It's done. It's finished. This guy is finished. We're just going to kill it one by one. Piece by piece. 62, 57, 50, 45, 42, 47, 48, 30, 30. I can't move, but I think we have did it. I think we did it. There we go. Wither killed. We just killed a wither and we got this. The nether star. Oh my goodness, I'm just gonna eat a golden apple first. To just, uh, um, just to make it calmer. Oh my goodness. I think we killed it. I think we killed the wither. Now I got this nether star, which we can actually make the beacon. Okay, let's craft this. So, three obsidian down, five glass around it, and then a nether star. There we go, a beacon. There we go. Now we actually get a beacon. Let's actually put it into the table right here. There we go, a beacon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and a beacon on top 10. There we go. Bring home the beacon, the advancement made. Construct and place a beacon. So now we can actually ha have uh, effects. If we just use uh, diamond or stuff, we can actually get the effect. The primary power and the secondary powder. Uh, we have to actually get the full set of this, which is 7x7, 5x5, and 3x3. That's going to cost a lot of emerald. We might do this next episode. So yeah, thank you so much for watching today's episode, it's been quite fun and it's very memorable. So yeah, thank you so much for watching today's episode. If you did enjoy, make sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a like that, it's really awesome. Click the bell for notifications to don't miss out any new videos. Bye guys!